Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Figma 321. We have Shielder or MASH Kiri Light. It's from the Fate Grand Order anime series. And I have to apologize in advance, I have not watched the anime. And uh, this is going to be a blind review, which is kind of obvious now. <laughs> I know little or none at all of what I'm reviewing. I don't know, it looks awesome. Yeah, I just don't have enough time to watch all the awesome animes out there. But I do like the design on this. Not to mention, you got the giant shield right there. She does remind me of Ram from RU0 uh, with the pink hair and you know, being cut short as well. So it, it does appeal to me quite a bit. And the giant shield right there. <laughs> it's crazy. You can definitely use that to bash someone. Yep. I feel bad now because I do have Gilgamesh and I haven't reviewed that one yet. Yeah, but I, I got this uh, recently through me, I mean, so I might as well do a review on this one. Gilgamesh, maybe later. There we go. So I just want to show the box art. Alright, so that's it. Let's take a look inside. We're going to a quick overview of what's inside. Oh, we have the giant shield right here. Really nice. <laughs> Powers over her. We got two face plates here. Go over that in a sec. And we have the Figma hands here. Basically, you got closed fists, open hands, and the uh, weapon grips. And an extra Figma joint. Actually, it comes with this new packaging. I'm not sure if they've been doing this. But uh, you can remove it in, in and out on this little plaque. It has a sticky on the end. Which is actually nice. You also have the Figma stand here. I'm not sure if I'm going to open it, but it's your typical one and you're getting two, one for the shield and one for her. I'm going to try to balance the shield on her without using the stand first. We'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, let's take a closer look. Alright, so uh, we have Mash here. <laughs> I think that's what they call her. Or shoulder. The armor on her is really nice. We got that the sleek black with purple really nice I like that and uh, even her legs here or the tie area it's uh, asymmetrical really cool right, so uh, going over the head here uh, one of her eyes are co is covered uh, some of the uh, tips of the hair is sharp and eh, actually kind of bent some of them. So be careful as you take it out of the packaging. But yeah, really nice. So neckwise, she can uh, definitely look up side to side. No problems there. Get your shoulder here. Is it one of those? No, it's just a typical Figma just shoulder joint. Sometimes they have the telescoping one, but not this one. So, in terms of range of movement, uh, no problem because there's no sleeve there. So that works quite well. Elbow bend, here we go. This uh, kind of like gauntlet or arm guard here is fixed. I don't think you can move that around. Let's uh, pop this out. There we go. Yeah. Sometimes they have it uh, free floating there, but not on this one. I actually prefer it uh, to be fixed like this, otherwise it's it could be annoying as it starts to move around. Now for her torso area, got uh, some nice articulation there. To the back side. So she can lean back a little bit. Quite nice there. Now on her skirt, this all um, molded together. Oh, that is quite interesting. But towards the end here, it's a bit flexible. So that's good. So it, it kind of limits the articulation because of this. So she can kick that high, which is not too bad. She can do a high kick. You got swivel on the tie here. Actually, on only on this one, huh? <laughs> Nothing here. Well, I guess since uh, there's no decoration, and you, I guess you don't want to see a seam line there. So only on her right that you have that tie swivel, since you can swap this out or take it out. Get your knee bend right there. 
Same thing on this one. Yeah, that design is really nice. And on the ankle joint, which mine seems to be stuck a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's so one of those the Figma joint. But the, all this armor here kind of impedes the ankle articulation. But it is there. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, the back here and the heel. Yeah, there's not much ankle articulation because of that. So definitely you need the, her on a Figma stand. Yeah, overall it's a nice uh, design, although there is some limitation on the articulation. Let's do some uh, head swaps. So uh, aside from just the neutral face here, I got two others. Let's go ahead and swap it. Pop that out. Let's go with this one. This one seems to be when she got hit or hurt. Let's see if I can get that in there. Oops. There we go. She got one eye closed, which actually <laughs> it works because that's the side the hair is covered or the eyes is covered. So, yeah, good. Let's swap the other one. I think she, that's when she's angry with the mouth open. Here we go. Quite nice. Alright, so uh, let's take a look at the shield. Alright, and uh, we have the shield here. has that nice matte finish on it. Really nice. Yeah, this is a really cool piece. For those wondering how big this thing is, got my ruler here. Or the length wise, about six, a little over six inch. And that's about 15 and a half centimeters. You got about 10 and a half centimeters and about four and a quarter, roughly inches so definitely it's a big shield <laughs> quite nice and it looks like a cross right there now I'm not sure what that says here and you got this nice uh, sculpt really cool so you can actually feel that uh, even on the sides here that's molded in I was going about to say that I could just turn this a spinner, but no, I cannot because of how long this is. But uh, definitely nice. Now, there's the handle there, and yep, you we can rotate this. That's where she's going to be holding it. And even on this side here, she can uh, hold that as well. So there's two points to hold the shield. Right, so uh, let's put this down here. And uh, let's go ahead and attempt that. Uh, my guess is I'm going to have difficulty putting this on or even on this. I don't think the instruction said anything on how to put this on. I wish we can detach that. Hmm. See if I can do that. Alright, so uh, let's put this on. There's no way to remove that handle there. And it's one of those that you kind of have to push the hand in. And hopefully it will work out. Alright, so this is my second attempt. I tried it. It works. Just gotta put in between the thumb first, push that in, and kind of just slide it in, and there you go. So it's not too bad. Now the fun part is trying to put the wrist joint. Now probably best to put in the hand here first to kind of loosen that wrist connection. Otherwise, if you're putting it in for the first time, you're gonna have a fun time trying to chase that uh, peg joint or yeah, the peg hole. All right. And there we go. Now this is a bit heavy for her, <laughs> but uh, you can definitely have her. Or use kind of like a the, a stand. And let's see if I can get her to balance with that. Just want to demonstrate. There we go. Yep, she can stand on her own with that thing on the side. Definitely quite great. And um, she could probably, let me see, can she hold this side here? 
After the instruction, uh, there's a piece on the stand, which is right here. This extra piece right here in the middle that is connected onto the side here. Maybe I should just show that to you guys, but <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, it's it's gonna be difficult, but it seems like it's the same size. Yeah, it's something that uh, you gotta you gotta really take caution on putting on. Regardless, yeah, um, you got this giant shield. Let's see if she can hold it up overhead. <laughs> It, it is amazing. There's probably a lot of cool uh, aerial posts you can do with this one, or just she's just charging with that giant shield. It is amazing. This kind of reminds me of uh, Chariot from Black Rock Shooter. She has the giant shield. Well, it's kind of like the wheel <laughs> from her uh, Chariot ride. But uh, yeah. This is quite amazing. It's a really nice giant shield. And uh, I think that's uh, pretty much it. I mean, uh, there's really not much else to go over in this Figma. It's simple accessories, but it does what it does. And uh, truly really an amazing uh, figure, uh, just from the looks of it. Anyways, uh, that's about it for this review. Hope you guys like it. If you got questions, uh, let me know. And I got mine from Ami Ami. I think it's still available. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, so until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.